Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be looking at your SD card and your Mac. So right here is my SD card. Now, before I get into copy and pasting, troubleshooting, I want to show you one of the mistakes and maybe that's why you guys are watching this is because your SD card is locked. So on your SD card, see this little yellow thing right here? It might be white, might be any color really on your SD card. That's a manual lock. So if that's down, because you can move that up and down, it might be locked. Okay, so move it around if your Mac is not detecting your SD card. That's the very first fix, the most obvious fix. Anyways, if you don't see your SD card right here on your desktop, so that's my desktop, it's okay. There's a way to fix that. So let's just go right into Finder. Finder's down here below. Just open that up and you should see your SD card right here on the side. So on my side, if I scroll down, I will see my SD card under locations. Okay, now if you want your SD card to be displayed right here on your desktop once you hook it up, then under Finder, same thing. We're gonna go in Finder, select Preferences. From here, we're gonna get this selection and just make sure to put a click under External Disks. I would put a check mark under everything. If you wanna see your hard disks, that means the hard drive of your Mac also on your desktop, you guys can put a check mark right there or take it out. Anyways, once you do that, you should see your SD card on your desktop. If you don't, like I mentioned, you should see it under Finder. If you still don't see it, well, we're gonna have to check it out in Disk Utility to see if your Mac even detects anything. So right now, we're gonna go under Disk Utility. Here's Disk Utility. If uh, you don't have it down here, don't worry about it. Just go on top of here to your Spotlight Search. So that's right on top right-hand side. Just click right there. And we're gonna type in Disk Utility. Once we type that in, you should see this popping up. So let's just click on Disk Utility. And right here is where we should see our SD card. Now, for some of you, you may not see all these options on the side. That's because your view might be different. So maybe you guys have it on show only volumes, which is the same thing. We should see three volumes. Some of you just two volumes, that's okay. And the first one should be your SD card, which we can see by the icon right here. Your icon might be a little bit different. Don't worry about it, as long as it looks something like this. Now, I just wanna show you if we change it back into show all devices. There's two options right here. Just make sure to select the second option, okay? And do not touch any other options right here. Just wanna let you know that these are internal. So this is my Fusion Drive. For some of you, you might just say SSD drive or hard drive or anything like that, or even Mac something. So there's various names for this and it depends on your Mac. If you still don't see your SD card right here, then try the lock, just move it around on the side of your SD card, which I just mentioned. So just move that up or down and then try it again. But anyways, from here, this utility, this is from where we would format your SD card. So formatting is erase and will delete any data inside your SD card. So if you guys have any pictures, videos, by erasing it, we will be deleting that. So before we do that, I wanna show you how to copy and paste and a little bit more stuff about your SD card. Then we'll get down into formatting and the options that you guys have. So my SD card's right here on the side. However, I also showed you how to go into Finder and find it. So here's my SD card. I do have two folders. Maybe you guys have one folder, maybe no folders. Maybe you guys have right away your pictures. So to copy and paste them, it doesn't really matter if I'm copy and pasting them into my desktop or into documents or anywhere really, I can always drag and drop these. So I can always drag my mouse, select these guys, and then move them all into my desktop. I'm only gonna do that with two of them. So I'm gonna select two, drag them and drop. And that way they're copied onto my desktop. I can do that into documents, into a folder, into anything. So to create a folder, I can just right click on my Mac, new folder, there's my folder. I can drag these guys into there. So I like to drag all the time because <laughs> that's the easiest way to do things. However, we can copy these another way. We can also right click on them. So I can select those or just one. So let's just do one for now. So I can click on that one. And then right here, you guys will see various options, including copy. So copy will be down here below. And that's the image that I want. So copy, then I can click on my desktop anywhere really and then right click again, select paste item, and it's gonna paste that picture. So as you guys can see, it pasted the picture right here. Another way of doing this, if you guys don't want to right click, then just command C, 
Well, let's do another one. Let's do these two right here. Command C and then Command V as in Victor in order to copy and paste those pictures into my desktop. If I wanted to do that into my folder, I just have to open up my folder and paste it into there. So Command V to paste it right in here into my folder. Anyways, it's the same deal if I want to copy and paste anything and transfer information into my SD card, I can just grab, for example, I have this PDF right here. It's just another document. And this will be the same thing if you guys have movie files, any type of file, it could be a Word document, Excel file. You guys can drag those into your SD card and it's gonna copy over or just press Command C, Command V into right here, your SD card. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this video that I got. I'm copy and paste it. This is a way bigger video, so it might not even fit here. But anyways, right now, if it's a bigger video such as this, you should see a message saying like this, copying this video onto this SD card. It is a gig, so it's gonna take about two minutes. We'll just let that happen, meanwhile. So let's say you guys have a lot of stuff right here in your SD card and you can't really drag and just select everything because it be too much well there's another option you guys can press command a on your keyboard and it's gonna select everything and from there just press command C and command V in order to copy and paste somewhere else so right now you selected everything I want to unselect these two because I don't want to copy those so I'm gonna press command and click on this guy click on this guy so I have all these guys selected I'm gonna press command C I have this folder, I'm gonna open it up, and then Command V. Now, since I already have a couple pictures here, yeah, I can replace those right now. So I'm going to press replace, and it's gonna copy all the pictures that I have right now onto that folder. Now, the next step I'm gonna show you is how to delete anything from your SD card. It could be any type of document for that matter, and you guys shouldn't have any problems. Now, if you guys are having problems deleting anything from your SD card, well, here's my SD card. I'm gonna right click on it and I should see all these options. So one of the options is to get info. So once I select get info, I should see a window popping up such as this one. I can go down just a little bit. And then the last part I have to see, sharing and permissions. Now I have custom access, that's perfect. As long as you guys have actual access to it, you should be okay. Anyways, right now what I'm gonna do is erase stuff from my SD card. So any type of document, for example, this video, this PDF just transferred, I can just press Command, Delete, and it just sent it to my trash bin. Now remember, you do have to empty out your trash bin, because if you put this SD card on a PC, it's kind of weird. It's almost like you didn't really deleted it. However, if you empty your trash bin, then you really did delete it. Now that's just for PCs. If you plug this into a PC afterwards, on Macs you're never gonna see it, but on a PC you kinda see a ghost happening there. So right here I have my trash bins on the side. Most of you will have it there. Just right click on it, empty trash, and that way it will be 100% gone. So that's how you guys can delete anything from here. Now yeah, there's that quick command, or we can always right click again on any of these, and just go on to move to trash. So that's this option right here, move to trash, and that got rid of it. Again, we do have to empty our trash bin. That way, there's no ghost or any information left on an SD card. Now finally, we're gonna get into formatting this. So if maybe your SD card has problems, not opening up properly, not copying documents, something's going on, then we do have to format it. So to format in Mac, we have to go back into Disk Utility, which I showed you already. So here's Disk Utility. In Disk Utility, there are two ways that we can see this. So we can see this on Show Only Volumes. So that's okay. We can select that, and we have to select our very first option. Just make sure it's your SD card and none of these other options right here. From here, we're gonna go ahead and press Erase. Now make sure Erase deletes everything from your SD card. So you will be erasing everything from within it. So we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna show you some options down here. So we have Mac Journal. That means it's only gonna work with Macs. Most of you have SD cards for your cameras. So that means we don't want that option. 
we want this option down here, which says XFAT. So that's for most of you. With older cameras, we had to format like this before, which is very limited and not good, but XFAT works really well right now. Now, before we go on and format, I want to show you some security options so people can't restore your information. So if you're maybe you're selling an SD card, you don't want anybody to be able to restore any information. Well, here we go. We can just do most secure. This will take forever in order to format it. So you can choose that security option or you can just do fastest, which doesn't mean that people will be able to restore all the information in your SD card, but there is a chance okay if you have it as fast however the more slow that you do it more secure then that means that it's harder and harder for them to secure or get any information back from it so it does depend what you guys need to do but for most of you it's just gonna be fastest we're all good x fat now again if uh, maybe your camera is not really playing along with x fat format from within your camera, you can also format your SD card. So I usually do that just to avoid any future problems. So I format it right here and then I go right into my camera and I format it again. Anyways, right now we're just gonna click on erase. And by the way, most cameras have that option in order for you guys to format, or sometimes they have a garbage bin type of icon in there uh, that lets you delete everything and kind of formats everything as well. Anyways, right now, as long as you guys get this message, it's saying that it formatted, so it got rid of everything, and we're back into zero. So that's for our SD card right here. Make sure not to click on anything else. It's also telling me that I have free 33 gigs, which is perfect, used only 25 megabytes, makes total sense. So we're gonna close this up, we're done formatting. And if I go back into my SD card, if I open that up, it should be empty. So no pictures, no folders, nothing in it anymore. Anyways, before we go, remember to always eject your SD card before you actually take it out from your computer. So we can go ahead and eject it. Okay, so make sure to right click on it and eject. If you guys are having problems right clicking on your Mac, remember all Macs have right clicking, whether you guys have a mouse or touchpad. So just to show you that, just in case, go into system preferences. And right here we have our trackpad and mouse. So both of them, we can set them up to have right clicking and that's called secondary click. So let me just show you on trackpad. So once I open up trackpad, I should see these options. I'm gonna go into point and click, which is my first option. And from here, secondary click. So how secondary click done? Well, your Mac actually shows you. So let me just scroll over this. And that's how you do secondary click, which is our right clicking on your Mac. So that's just with two fingers, you're tapping away. Now with my mouse, it would be the same thing. It's just the mouse, it's right clicking, just activate the secondary click. And this would be it for this video. I'm just gonna eject this, safely eject it out. Right now I can see that I can actually unplug it from my computer and we're all done with this tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.